I asked them, what was your first impression of one another? She says this, my first impression of ninth grade John was that he was a goofy little blonde kid on the school bus. <laughs> so, you know, if you're that goofy little blonde kid on the school bus, you can get here one day. <laughs> He talks about being nervous. That's how he felt before he picked her up at West Village for the Mallard Ball. He said, it was such an honor to be going with the Jessica Melton. And he just said, I was just trying not to screw it up. You didn't, you didn't screw it up. Here we are, it's awesome. But she says this, and I love this. My first real impression when we met in college was that he was funny, sweet, and really cute. And I just wanted to get to know him better. They both talked about in their, their answers, wanting to get to know one another better when they had first met. After spending time with one another, they just wanted to spend time with one another again and again and again. Oh, wow, baby, you look so beautiful. Oh, my little girl. Love you. You love you. You look wonderful, honey. I love the tie. Thank you. You look so pretty. Thank you. you really beautiful, baby. Is this your tux from like 25 years ago? Yeah, I can still get in it. I asked them both, what, what do you love about the other person? Why do you want to, to marry the other person? Jessica said, I love that John is kind, intelligent, and can always make me laugh. He's driven and motivated and hardworking, and he's thoughtful. He shows his love by his actions and not just his words. He isn't afraid to be himself and is passionate about what he does. He loves Jesus and centers our relationship around the Lord. <laughs> you are beautiful. I love you so much. You look amazing. The tux is perfect. Thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you. Love you too. John says, I'm honored to marry you, Jessica, and I thought this was one of the most beautiful things that he said. The main reason for this is that the Holy Spirit lives in your heart. And I loved how John mentioned 1 Corinthians 13. He goes on to say, I'm going to pray every day with you and on my own that we remember this verse all the time, to love one another. If we show each other the same love that God shows us, we will have a spectacular marriage. We are gathered here today in this beautiful church with a lot of beautiful people. And this church is packed. This is amazing to see how many people have come. And we are here today as family and friends to witness the marriage of John Alexander Bryant Jr. and Jessica Ann Melton. She goes on to say, I can't wait to keep going on dates, to start a family, to pursue our dreams together, furthering our careers together, I want him to be in my life forever, be the father of my children and be the person I grow old with. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with John. All the small everyday things, they both talked about that over and over again. Just the small everyday things of getting to be in each other's life every day. I love the words that, that have been shared and said by these two. And this is something that we look at and we can just be in awe of. 
the love that they have for one another and how it reflects the love that God has for us. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. And John, this is the moment you've been waiting for. You may kiss your bride. I want to thank everyone, all the friends, families, for being here. You honor us with your presence. And if you would, I want you to celebrate this night for Jessica and John as one. That's, that's my wish for the night. Let's have a celebration, shall we? I am honored and so proud to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. John Bryant.